guy out fucking cold. The capoeira, the capoeira version is the same as the taekwondo version. The difference is like the difference between hooks. Like some people throw a hook like this, and some people throw a hook like this. This and this is like the difference between the capoeira. It's basically the same thing. You're spinning and hitting the guy with the heel. Now you can do it to the bag, but it's kind of rough on your knees. And really when I did it to the bag, I would always stiff leg it like this. I would stiff leg it. I didn't want to do it the way I always did it, because it puts a lot of pressure on your knees. That's a serious goddamn kick. And there's a tremendous amount of torque in this kick, and a tremendous amount of power. It's the most powerful kick, I think. This is what it was. So, it's not a spin, it's a turn. And at the end... That's a lot of fucking power. To a roundhouse kick. It starts out like this, and then as you go up, you turn it into a roundhouse kick. And Feitosa is like famous for it, to the point where they call it, the K1 guys call it the Brazilian kick. And that's another effective Taekwondo one. So you stand on this, so it comes in like this, and then as it's coming in, it goes over the top like that. So you think it's this, and you know, you go to block like this, and as you do, it comes over the top. Shit, that's a beautiful angle right there. God damn! Do that, that 360 spinning roundhouse. Haha. <laughs> Jackie Chan, fuck. <laughs> Can you imagine if someone pulls that off? <laughs> you're spinning, and as you're spinning, across the face. Whoa, nice. Nice, that's a good angle right there. <laughs> Yeah, can you do it like that though? He kept it going. Yeah, it doesn't matter. He, yeah. That's exactly what he did. What a lot of guys are doing with the front leg is they're switching. And they're either going, they're either going to the body or they're going like this to the head. They're doing that, right? What else is available is right out here. No switch at all. 